Alright, Crimson, how do you think the hero pool is gonna affect our team? How do you think it's gonna, how it's gonna change the meta? How it's gonna affect you? Mm. I think these bands are honestly pretty unique because they kind of hit every single comp that's played. So you got the Ryan from Rush, you got the Zenyatta from the ball comp, and then you got the Tracer Sombra that kind of covers the ball and the monkey comp. So I think the meta will definitely shake up. I'm not too confident in like what's going to be played now, yeah. but I think a lot of teams are trying a lot of stuff and honestly, who knows what's going to happen by the time the weekend yeah, comes around. Yeah, people are going to play random stuff until the day before the match, so nobody's going to know what's going to get played uh, even on the day of the match probably. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of like a circus right now yeah. a little bit. Kingy, what do you think about the hero bands and Ryan being banned? Mm, well, Ryan being banned is not related to Ryan. 제가 지금까지 대회에서 보여준 게 라인하르트밖에 없는데 이번에 다른 메인 탱어로도 보여줄 시간 연습해서 보여줄 시간이 있어서 괜찮은 것 같아요. So he said, uh, he doesn't care about the hero pulls. Uh, he, he, I think I think it'll be good because he's been only been able to really only show Ryan. So I think it'll be a good opportunity for him to show the other heroes. As well. All right, Junk. I saw in the last episode of Letter Rip, you mentioned how we won't be making the same mistake like we did against Fuel. What do you think we really need to do moving forward to make sure that doesn't uh, happen? Yeah, the mistake, a lot of it was our preparations. So I hope, I can't get in, de in details about how we're going to prepare, but we'll, we'll be changing how we prepare and we'll, we'll not be complacent. We'll be not, we'll, we'll definitely a prepared more thoroughly and definitely next time yeah i think we kind of put our eggs in maybe a, too many eggs in one basket yeah kind of assuming that you know shock would be able to to beat the fuel but you know we just had no idea of few, how strong fuel was yeah. and how they just kind of came out kind of swinging and we just weren't ready for that but i think i'm pretty confident that like the next time we see something like that that we'll definitely be ready yeah for sure all right yeah the the fuel won the whole thing like they were in the end they were right about a lot of stuff they what they did was right in the end so i think i think a lot a lot of teams are gonna respect them more and we'll see how it goes moving forward so we had a really good first split what do you think is gonna happen going forward on the next split uh, so he's been he's been playing really well in the matches, uh, even better than how he did in scrims. So he's gonna be doing well again going forward. All right, so we just came back from a nice long break. Uh, what, did you guys do anything special? So I have actually been kind of hanging out with my girlfriend over the break, who obviously you know lives in Houston, and she had uh, her cousin come visit. So I was just kind of hanging out with her, um, you know, went to like the pool, went to like different places to hang out. It was like a really nice break overall, but I'm, I'm really happy to be back. And I know that some other guys, you know, went traveling like yourself. I know KSF uh, also went home to, to I believe, you know, visit family or whatever. But um, I think, you know, a break is always really nice to kind of reset. And, you know, I'm just really happy that, you know, we're back here ready to play ready to continue our, season, our strong season. Same question, Jango. How about you? Did you have a good break? What did you do? Uh, I did a break in the I did a break in the I did a I did a break in Alright, so he's been, he streamed a lot. He's been uh, playing Overwatch consistently so that his level of gameplay doesn't go down. All right, let's wrap it up. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice that we're, we get to talk about how we've been doing, how we're going to be doing. Um, we'll just, since we had a night, long, nice break, we'll go back to the grind and keep on practicing. How's it going, Matt? What's up, Jake? Doing good. Got some questions for you today. All right, let's go. You got the answers? Yeah, so always do. Can you break down what was announced last week in terms of the hero pools and how it's going to affect the outlaws? Sure. So, um, hero pool for this upcoming tournament 
Um, Reinhardt's out from the tanks. Tracer Sombra out from DPS. Zenyatta out from support. Pretty interesting set of hero pools here, banned heroes. Taking Reinhardt out of the mix is definitely a big change. You saw a ton of Reinhardt. Um, Jangu, you know, obviously, yeah. Yeah, exactly, having huge plays. So, I mean, a lot of people, I think from the outside, might look at that as like a bad thing for us. Um, as well, Tracer Sombra, of two of Dante's best heroes. Right. Um, so like, I think from the outside, probably a lot of fans are looking at this like, oh no, like, Outlaw's losing a lot of good strengths. Um, but I actually think, weirdly enough, this this is gonna work out really well for us. I mean, I think it's, um, a, you know, it's a mark of a good team to be able to adapt. And when we were building the team too, that, I mean, he hero pools in mind, right? And it's not like Jangu and, and Dante are out of the game at all. They can play it. I mean, we have a ton of surprises. One thing I'm really happy about so far in our practice is the same thing I was happy about last stage with our practice is that we're not limiting ourselves to like just one strategy, especially now. We're trying to play a ton of different stuff. So, you know, if it comes match time and what we ended up feeling like was the strongest, if it doesn't end up working, you know, we've got other things in our back pocket to switch out of. For our team, it's definitely gonna be a big advantage. We have the flexibility to play those multiple options without necessarily making, you know, a ton of swaps. Um, or like we don't need to like necessarily sub our whole roster just to play a new strat and telegraph it too hard. Like we, we can kind of play whatever we need with our players. So I'm really proud of the team right now. Uh, we put a lot of work into the off season building this team from from the ground up, and yeah. there were a lot of question marks about the team, about the direction we were headed, and people were wondering like, are we going to be able to turn it around? Do we have what it, what it takes to actually do it? And I think I think the fans um, they deserve results after yeah. all this time and. So like, I understand that there are a lot of question marks at the start, you know, a lot of rookie players, a lot of just, you know, me in a rookie position as a GM, you as a rookie coach, and, and that, that, the theme for, for this year was really like, it, it was um, starting over and, and building a foundation, and I'm proud, really tremendously proud of how well the team's been performing, and mor morale's really high among the players too. Everyone's, it, it, it feels like the plan is coming together, and fans are finally seeing that there was a plan yeah. from the start and there's, there's a lot of confusion about that too like <laughs> what the heck are these guys doing i think now you know we're 4-0 we it, it's hard to ask for more than that you know it would have been nice to have, have won have gone to hawaii and won hawaii also but I, going into this next stage 4-0 like it, it's a great place to be you know and like you said in the end you know going to hawaii would be awesome and like winning hawaii would be great and we still want to do that as many times as we can, we still have three more chances for that. But in the end, like what, what really matters to us, I think is like being the one who, I think Junk said this, like being the one who's smiling in the end, right? Like being the winner overall. And like the final playoffs is like the real focus. Um, you know, these, these interim goals are just that. They're like interim goals and we're, like, we're gonna strive for them because it's part of the bigger picture, but like we're not gonna lose faith. We're not gonna, you know, um, let it get to us until it comes final playoffs. Hey Jake, thanks for hanging out. A lot of fun talking to you and let's do it again. Yeah, absolutely. Take it easy, Matt.